What if events had unfolded differently? What if the mad titan Thanos decided to double the resources across the universe instead of snapping half of it away? How would this change the entire course of the MCU? Would the events of Avengers Endgame be the same? Without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the Marvel's What If. The entire Infinity War timeline will be the same, where Thanos seeks the stones. His goal was the same, to assemble all of the Infinity Stones and snap, but this is where the timeline alters. The snap was to double the resources across the universe. He believed that with doubling the resources, he could eradicate the problem of too many mouths to feed. At first, he felt that the episode of Titan would happen again, but now with the Black Order and his armies by his side, Thanos knows that he could always reverse the snap if necessary. The Avengers were against the idea as doubling the resources would cause an overload of resources across the universe and wars will be waged for dominance. They aim to stop Thanos before this could happen. Happen. Thanos eventually arrived on Earth and obtained the Mind Stone after killing Vision. After Thor landed the Stormbreaker on him, Thanos proceeded to snap. This time, nobody was gone like in the original timeline when the blip happened. Instead, there was more plants, animals, and jungle around Wakanda grew twice as large. Thanos then ordered his army to retreat as the job has been done and he left with the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos would destroy the stones as in the beginning of Endgame's storyline as he had no need for the stones. The hero were left devastated as the amount of doubled resources made Earth even more packed. While this might have been a good thing, countries on Earth started launching wars with each other to gain resources off one another. Strange, Spider-Man, Tony, and the Guardians made their way back to Earth and reunited with the other heroes. Star-Lord was devastated with the death of Gamora and vowed to kill Thanos. The others blamed him for not cooperating when they have taken control over the Mad Titan. The Guardians then returned back to space to help the other planets that had problems due to the overbalance of resources. The not-so-developed countries managed to prosper, but this caused unnecessary complications and eventually led to war. The Avengers tried to resolve the conflict. Captain Marvel has yet to appear in this timeline. The Avengers tried to track down Thanos, but they had to settle the current issues on Earth. Meanwhile, on a distant planet, Hela, the Kree Empire, the group of militaristic races consisted of blue-skinned humanoids that appeared in Captain Marvel, were plotting to expand their territory across the galaxy. With Thanos snapping, this created more resources for them to grow. Led by Yon Rogue himself, he plans revenge on Earth for what happened during the Captain Marvel incident 23 years ago. He counseled his superiors to launch an attack on Earth. The Avengers, meanwhile, have managed to try to balance the resources on Earth, and thanks to the brains of Tony, Bruce, and Shiri, along with Vision, Steve Rogers reunited with Tony and decided to put their differences away. Months later, the Kree invasion on Earth would begin. However, this time Earth was much stronger than it used to be. With the Avengers united, they brought the fight against the Kree Empire. The Kree Empire deployed Kree sentries with their giant humanoid robots. Earth was at the full strength with the support from the Avengers and Wakanda. They also received help from the Skrulls, who were residing on Earth and helping Fury. However, the Kree sentries were equivalent power, and amidst the battle, the Kree Empire were winning the war due to their tech being superior. The Guardians with Thor, meanwhile, has tracked Thanos down to his remote planet. Star-Lord wanted revenge for what he did to Gamora, while Thor wanted to end the job. They figured that maybe they could get the gauntlet and reverse back the situation that happened with doubling the resources. They also thought that maybe Thanos, who does not have the stones, and his Black Order was separated from him. The Guardians eventually arrived with Thor to where Thanos was residing. Like in the Endgame timeline, Thanos was cooking his food, and Thor came down charging in with his axe and attacked Thanos. They confronted him and asked for the the gauntlet. However, Thanos said that he has used the stones to destroy the stones. The gauntlet was gone forever. Star-Lord, being furious that he could no longer bring back Gamora, attacked and shot Thanos multiple times. Thor then chopped off Thanos' head and told the Guardians that since nothing can be done, he will return to Earth. He wanted to tell the rest of the Avengers on what happened to Thanos and the stones. The entire Kree, meanwhile, were almost on the verge of victory. Just then, a powerful explosion hit one of their warships, destroying them. Yong-Rog, the 
rest of the Kree Empire were shocked to see what happened. The Avengers then saw the arrival of Captain Marvel. She then assisted the Avengers to defeat the rest of the Kree Empire. Thor would return to inform the Avengers that Thanos has destroyed all the stones and was killed already. They were disappointed but glad that they were able to fend off the Kree Empire. From a distance, an artificial being named Adam, who was created in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2, has grown into being Adam Warlock, a powerful being capable of superhuman strength, agility, durability, fighting, energy, and matter manipulation with absorbing. Aisha told him that the Guardians are responsible for betraying them. With the Guardians locked as their target, Adam Warlock is sent to kill the Guardians of the Galaxy. Glad that her plan is finally working, Alicia then told the rest of the Sovereign's race to launch a full-scale attack on the Guardians. They tracked them down to Earth where they were with the Avengers. As a result, the Sovereign's race would rage war against the Guardians of the Galaxy, and the race also wanted to invade Earth to gain their resources. The Guardians seek the help of the Avengers. At first, the Avengers tried to seek peace with the Sovereign's race, but to no avail. Adam Warlock came and was gaining the upper hand against the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Star-Lord then confronted Adam Warlock and told him about how he lost Gamora. He further explained how Adam was used as a tool instead of being treated with respect. Realizing this, Adam turned his back against the Sovereign's race and Alicia herself, defeating them. He would then join forces with the Avengers and the Guardians. He realized that there is still a lot for him to learn, so he decided to join the Guardians of the Galaxy. In the distance, Silver Surfer reports to his master, Galactus, that after most of the planets in the universe have been devoured, Earth will now be their next target as abundance of the resources after the Thanos snap. And that is going to be, what if Thanos had doubled the resources across the universe in Avengers Infinity War? What did you guys think of the Kree Empire being in this and waging war with the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy? If you guys did enjoy this fan fiction, uh, do make sure to subscribe, like, share, and turn your notifications on because I will be doing a ton more. But anyways, as always guys, thanks for tuning in and have a fantastic day.